What's up guys, Brandon here from Brandon Steel Entertainment and in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the main event of Payback 2015, which was yesterday between Seth Rollins, the champion, versus Randy Orton, versus Roman Reigns, and versus Dean Ambrose. But anyways guys, let's hop right into this review. So for this, I'm going to have to break the scale and I'm just going to have to give it 100, okay? This, this match was absolutely insane and you know the action was just non-stop well of course it started out you know pretty predictable Kane came out um J and J security they of course would always get involved and of course as soon as the bell rang you know uh Seth went right after Randy and um it, it was just insane and um of course during the match um they cornered Seth Rollins next to the Spanish announce tables and then that was when Randy Orton was in the middle of all of them. And then they just started ganging up on Randy. And, of course, you know, I kept on mentioning, you know, the Shield could possibly reunite. The Shield could possibly reunite. Um, I, I did at least, you know, three videos about that. And um, I mentioned it in a ton of videos. But um, it actually looked like the Shield was going to reunite for a second. You know, they were stomping them out like they would, you know, back in the day, I'd say maybe even a year ago. You know, they would just stomp them out like old times and then... At one point, they even called for the triple power bomb, and of course, you know they were all celebrating at one point. And then Seth Rollins put his arms around Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns, and I'm just thinking, what the heck is going on? You know, for a second, it did look like you know they reunited, you know, and they played it off really well because you know everybody was fooled. And if you weren't fooled, you had goosebumps for the second. Because if you knew that the Shield wasn't going to reunite, when you saw that, I'm pretty sure a lot of you had a smile on your face. Or you were just thinking, wow. I mean, it, it was absolutely insane. And then Seth Rollins, of course, put his hand, you know, in the middle like, you know, they put their fist in the middle like they usually would. But, of course... They didn't join Seth Rollins, and of course they continued to you know put the beat down on Seth Rollins, and then that was when you know they put um, you know him and Kane through a table. Um, it turned out it wasn't a triple bomb; it was a double power bomb. You know, it was Dean Ambrose lifting him up and uh, Roman Reigns putting him through the table, and after that. All of the competition was gone, and then it was Dean Ambrose versus Roman Reigns in the middle of the ring, and then that was when Seth Rollins came back in, stole Roman Reigns' opportunity once again, and then Randy Orton came in the mix, and, you know, Randy Orton was on a roll for a hot minute, and then that was when, you know, it just started spiraling out of control, and, you know, Randy Orton, he did a few RKOs to J&J Security, and then he did the T-Bone Suplex um, to Seth Rollins, I believe, off of the top rope. You know, that part was absolutely insane, and it, it turns out that Seth Rollins did retain, and it turns out that he pinned uh, Randy Orton to win it, but, you know, uh, the highlight of that night was the Shield, you know, re reunion for at least a second, because the Shield are going to reunite, they are going to reunite, it's just a matter of time, they're going to reunite in the future, because a lot of people... Believe it or not, we're saying, you know, Evolution is going to reunite in the future. Evolution is going to reunite in the future. And at last year's Payback, you know, they reunited. Even at last year's Extreme Rules, you know, they reunited. So, you know, it's just a matter of time. Whether it's going to be next year or the year after that or the year after that. One time they're going to reunite just for a few pay-per-views. One time. And that is a belief, and I'm pretty sure it's for a fact, you know, whether it's going to be Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns turning heel, or if it's going to be Seth Rollins turning face, and all of them become, you know, the face shield once again, but it's going to happen soon enough. But my rate for this, it has to be a thousand and beyond, you know, this match was absolutely phenomenal, you know, it was pretty predictable, but, you know, they did deliver. And that goes for the whole pay-per-view in general. But I absolutely love this pay-per-view. Um, the main event was absolutely fantastic. You know, I, I was left speechless for a second. You know, I was I had goosebumps going up and down my chest and my arms. As soon as I saw that triple bomb, power bomb, and then I saw, you know, Seth Rollins put his arms around the two. And that was absolutely insane. And I'm still out of words for it. Because you can see I'm, I'm stuttering when I say it. You know, I really don't know how to describe it, you know, you just had to see it to feel that moment, I mean, I understand that I'm showing you guys the pictures, but, you know, you, you had to actually see the video, it was absolutely insane, and I can't describe it, but, uh, yeah, 
that's my review for this main event and for Payback in general. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I hope that you guys can relate to it. So uh, hopefully I'm going to have the Monday Night Raw full show preview out soon. So I will be seeing you guys then. So that does it for this review. Thank you for stopping by the top daily WWE place to be. I really do appreciate you for watching my video. And if you're new around here, plop down and subscribe because I do upload WWE news and rumors on a daily basis. But anyways, guys, I will talk to you later.